Okay, this is actually just explaining this image. So we were going over the class test um, question three, and it was an inverse normal. And so here, if you like, um, your tables only give you the area here between the middle and the Z standardized value. So what you have to do is first interpret the question and decide what that shaded area would be. So for example, this one here, if that's 0.05, then this X value would have 5% above it and 95% below it, okay? But on this table, we're looking at the 45%, because here, between 0 and Z, the most it can be is 0.5, right? Because it's only half of the area underneath. So then you actually look at this one in here, okay? So you're going back to front. When you're going the normal way, you, you look up using this value and this value. When you inverse, when you've got the area, you actually have to look at the answer and work backwards. So we look at the 0.4495. We need to add 5 to that, and then that would be 0.45. So we can see that the Z value was 1.645. So that's where the Z value 1.645 comes from. Once we've got the Z value, we know that Z equals X minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. That formula has come from here. Z equals X. That's the um, X value, so the non-standardized thing, that you'd have an X here when the mean is not zero and the standard deviation is not one. It's whatever the distribution has. And so that's the mean of the distribution, that's the standard deviation of the distribution, and that's the x value that you're actually looking for. Okay, so now we've got one unknown, the x, and we solve for x. So we get the 6.8 and multiply it, because it's divided on that side, so multiply it on the other side, and then we've got minus 41.5 on this side becomes plus 41.5 on the other. Alternatively, if you've got a fancy calculator, this is a lot easier because, yeah, never mind. Um, okay, and so then we've got X, and then we put it into context. So in this particular case, it was 52.7 kilometres per hour. So that's the X value. Okay?